Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to Persona. We have finished my... Go in the subway. Shoot. Uh, we finished getting the cards that I wanted. Uh, I will post a... Try to remember to post a list of the cards that I wanted to get. Uh, but just to quickly go over them, I got a fairy card, a Mr. Zombie card, a, fa a hoodlum card from the first floor, and from the second floor, I got a cock I got a pixie, a Mr. Zombie, and a hoodlum from the first floor. Not a fairy. And then from the second floor, I got a cockatrice, a Moshuvu, and a gremlin. In addition to that, I also picked up another cockatrice. Uh, and... Hold on, I accidentally closed my list here. Uh, I think it was a slime, but let me double check. Let's see. Yeah, a cockatrice and a zombie. Excuse me. Another zombie. And I made a Ketsai Kawaddle persona for Reiji. I ended up getting breasts up to max rank. Usually I get breasts up to max rank sometime around uh, the middle of this next dungeon. So... Uh, but anyway, I put a m magma stone into the um, fusion. It doesn't matter what you put in there. I just put the m magma stone in there so he would have a uh, AoE attack to level up with. Uh, I also had a Maragi stone. I had a, Mabufu, a couple of Mabufu stones. But I just went with a Magma. Uh, the reason I made Ketsa Kawaddle is because you've got to have you have to have a Persona equipped at all times. So when I return Briss uh, it won't let me do that unless I have a Persona equipped. So we're going to switch back to Bress for now, because Bress is a really, really good Persona, actually. Uh, at the max rank, he learns Eastern Impact. Uh, which is going to be really useful for the next boss. Let's see, let's put you on... Let's leave you on Ogun for now. Uh, I made and I made Janus for Maki. Janus was a zombie, any zombie plus slime. I think uh, you could also use hoodlum, but I used slime. Uh, Janus is a pretty good persona for the mid game for Maki because uh, I also put him a magma stone on him as well, so that's where that came from. He doesn't normally learn that; he just learns magma, but. Uh, because Janus learns a very wide range of attacks. The the main downside with Janus for the time that he it's a really useful persona is that the SP cost for its skills are actually like tw is it 24. Uh, I need this for later, so I'm going to go ahead and contact it. You are level 22. And I, I need Maki to cringe. Now, uh, I haven't talked about this, but when you get multiple colors, there's they usually, sometimes they'll do more than one thing. So, like, if you make them uh, eager, which is yellow, what the... My D-pad went screwy for a second. I think my... I think my buttons are getting stuck. Anyway. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna, what I was saying. We'll hit these guys with weapons. Since angels are a pain in the butt because they, uh, you pretty much have to use weapons to, to kill them. But anyway, um, I, I forgot what I was saying. 
<laughs> oh, right. Uh, if monsters have more than one uh, color on their emotions, a lot of times what they'll do is they will... Uh, sometimes they'll do more than one thing. Usually it seems like the positive emotions... Uh... It seems like... Okay, there it goes again. What the hell? Okay, anyway. Uh, that's probably going to be a problem later. Um... Positive emotions seem to outweigh the negative ones. So, uh, but what happens a lot sometimes is let's just use this. For example, if you make them angry and eager, they'll give you your spell card, but they'll also like uh, attack you. So. Eastern Impact is a pretty powerful attack. Cool. Not that that's useful now, but cool. I can switch him over, and then when I get the chance... When I go back to another a Velvet Room, I will get rid of Ogun. I'll try to soldier on for now. Anyway, uh, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of conveyor belts in this dungeon. You can't see them but uh, until I step on them. But if you had went right there, there's a conveyor belt that just makes you go in a big old circle back to where you started, basically. So... This, this, and Mabufu, and Eastern Impact. Rub my D pad a little bit here, try to work whatever is causing that loose. Hopefully, my vigorous rubbing just did that, fixed it. Uh, those, those little Yato no Kami guys, I need those. I also need to watch uh, her SP. Janus is one of the main reasons why I buy uh, 30 Chewing Souls so early. Yeah, because her, her SP is already gone. But uh, in addition to being really, really good... Let's see, skills... In addition to being really, really good in the mid-game because of his wide range of attacks, if you... This is why I have the Chewing Souls. Let's use these medicines up, because I'll never use them for anything else. But anyway, in addition to having a really wide range of attacks, he also has... Uh, a really good item when you return him. He's one of like the few that I will go out of my way to get. 
like most of the the items, the weapons and stuff that you get from returning personas, it's not worth spending the time in my opinion to farm them. Like you would by the time you got like the best stuff, you would just be done with the game. You could have already finished the game like twice. So it's it's just like whatever. Anyway, that's a save point. We're good. We don't need that. Um, I do need to kind of, kind of, sort of, uh, eventually, in the next few levels, stop leveling up my uh, agility. I want to stop probably around 80, I imagine. Ooh, Iron Claw. That's one of the main problems I have with Reiji, is he is hard to find weapons for. Like, the main character's got his submachine gun, right? That's pretty much all the weapon he needs. He doesn't really need a sword, because uh, Persona can fill in that gap. Maki also, like, her bows none of them are really good in the in the late game so I don't she doesn't have good options really and her pistol is just the uh, Nanjo has some pretty good two-handed swords but I don't really worry about his because uh, his gun is also decently his gun options are decently worthwhile but and then Mark has his axes. Axes drop plentifully, and then uh, the the item you get from Janus is one of the most powerful axes in the game. So, I, I kind of just struggle to get Ragey something. So this is Yogg Sogoth Jr. <laughs> he is a quite a bit beefier than the last boss we just fought, which is really weird because like it was literally like a dungeon ago. But this boss has 3,900 hit points. Um, he is weak to one-handed sword skills. Uh, what we want to do is Tarunda on him. Uh, let's see, he drains ice and reflects electricity. So we want to use... Uh, let's use Eternal White. We use Makakaja twice. And we'll just have you use Agi. It's fine. But he takes... Uh, he takes double damage from gravity. And 1.5 damage from nuclear and blast. There's Phaleg for you. There's Janus. So, Reiji's gonna be carrying us in this battle. And I want the main character to do the healing because I want him to get as much. Ex I want to get him, him to get the experience. Let's see. Um, let's actually switch you over to Ogun for the gravity attacks, since this guy is weak to it. Even though Ogun's kind of weak. So remember, buffs stack twice. Um, let's see. Uh, let's switch you to. Let's just use Sukukaja here. And let's use Gry, I guess. 
Eastern Impact is pretty much where the majority of the damage I'm going to be doing is going to come. Okay. Yeah, that's that's okay. 50 damage. Uh, no. I need you to do... Just do Twin Slash. Sukukaja. Let's see how this does. Or he could just die. Nice, okay. Probably should have healed like one more time, but that's okay. Nanjo can have that experience. Hmm. That monster didn't seem as hostile as some of the other creatures we faced. Wait and see. Uh. So we're about to go into the worst part of what well, my least favorite part of the game. All right, so now onto the second half of this dungeon. Looks like my vigorous rubbing fixed. Uh, let's see. Angels are a pain in the butt, right? Yeah. 